Hey, what's up, guys? This is JacobBoy69, and today we will be playing Moth House. I'm not sure exactly what to expect. Haven't watched any gameplay. That scared me, though. But all right, without further ado, let's hop into it. Um, actually, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new. I post gameplay videos every week, one to two. Really just depends. Dear son, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing to inform you that I am leaving far from here on an expedition, unfortunately. I can't provide a location. I know this may come as a surprise to you, but please understand that this decision was not an easy one. If in a year you do not receive a letter from me, it means that I will not return. I hope that this will not happen, but if I still do not get in touch and I have a request to you. In the attached letter, there is a list with species of moths. Come to my house and catch at least one of each species and then let them out of the house. But it's better if you free them all. With all my love, your dad. Wow, read a novel straight off the gate. Press space to continue. If you're scared, don't be. We're gonna f we're gonna find the moss together. I don't need to go back. I kind of think I do. I love what you've done with your wardrobe. Nice little phone. All right, stormy night. We just have a match to light the way. Does your father not have any sort of, I don't know, electricity in this big house? Okay, we're just gonna run for it. Oh, hello. Control the crouch, sure thing. Hmm. Oh. What? Use tab to open backpack. Ooh. Looks like we caught some American dagger moss and some leopard moss as well. There's some crazy looking moss in here, including some in my backpack. I'm assuming, okay, those are the ones I just caught. That is cool. Well, come on, I gotta catch y'all. Like Pokemon. Wow. What a lovely painting. All right, let's go. Enough fooling around. You have a ceiling fan, but again, no power. Okay, that's what I did before. Ooh. Ooh. Catch him. Catch him. I feel like Spongebob right now. These are jellyfish, and I am Spongebob with my net. I bet with my net, I could get those things yet. Okay. You know, I have a nice seat. Look at this beautiful landscape painting. Why not? These are so creepy. Okay. Moths. What does that say? Emit? Why does that M look like an A? Moths emit ultrasound as a way of communication with other moths and detecting their environment. This ultrasound is typically measured in kilohertz with the average value of around 30 to 60 kilohertz. The moth produces the ultrasound by vibrating special organs in its body called timbals. If that's wrong, I'm so sorry. If you're a moth expert watching this and I just triggered you, I really apologize. Interestingly, there are devices called bat detectors that can capture these ultrasounds, which can help in monitoring moth populations and their behaviors. This is because bats, which are natural predators of moths, also use ultrasound to locate their prey. Whoa. Bats are smart, dude. Okay. All right, there's gonna be a t Oh, come on. Of course it's locked. That's where all the good stuff is. Do you see how high the, uh... Dude, something is fluttering. Ooh, hey, fellas. Why are there so many moths in this guy's house? Oh, dude, the thunder. Chocolate thunder. Let's go. I guess we're just gonna keep swiping and swooping. Um, let me check and see our progress while I get these super cool moths off the wall. Dude, that moth is huge. <laughs> Donald? <laughs> you can make him honk. All right, let me see something. Tab. That's kind of unsettling to look at. Okay, so we have plenty of leopard moths. We're making progress. How convenient. Oh, remember? Control to crouch. We learned that earlier. Use F to light. Slash put out the match. Why would I need to put it out? Oh my word. Look at all these moths. Like, why would I want to put it out? Oh! 
So the scary part of this game is the fact that there is a massive moth. I mean, dude, we got to catch him, right? <laughs> Why is this guy's dad obsessed with moths, dude? Jeez Louise, man. What happens if I... Ooh, that's what happens, dude. Hey, look at all the moths on the ceiling. Did he put me in a cocoon? Wow. I'm actually happy he did that, dude. Look at all these moths. Ooh! Larvae. Guys, please hit the like button if you love watching me catch moths. I would really appreciate it because I'm enjoying myself. Look at all these moths we're getting. Just a drive-by moth collection. Bang. All right, let's see. Let's see. We are getting plenty of moss. I just don't know how we're going to get the big fella. All right. So we found the large moss layer. Now the question is, is that moth on the list? I didn't see any ginormous moths and trying our best. I mean, I think these are all like the same type of moss. There's just so many of them though. I'm never going to look at moths the same. All right, we need to get out of here. I think these are moths. Can't tell. All right, we're going to have to go back the way we came before we got consumed. Okay, no. Surprise. Can't <gasps> okay, dude, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. Speak of the devil. There he was. Moths have always, to me, been like the butterflies. What? That is so disturbing. What is he? It looks like he has hairy worms coming out of him. Definitely not. Not me. F. Dude. Anyway, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, the moth to me has always been like the butterfly's ugly brother. Like, sure, I'm sure some of you are going to be like, oh, but a moth is it's so cute. Look at his face. Is this my father? I didn't see that before, but I'm so sick of... I'm so sick of... Oh, you... Hey, okay, I understand. I'm gonna catch him with my net. <laughs> I didn't know I was in a moth catching simulator, but the giant moth doesn't like it. How close are we? Hello there. Oh, hey, Francis. Leave me be, please, bro. Come on. Oh, silly Francis. Tricks are for kids. Taking all your children now. I was gonna leave some... They're all coming with me, Francis. You absolute loser. Oh my gosh, Francis. Somebody really liked moths. And it was not me. Oh, yeah. Let me catch the ceiling fan moth. It's the rarest of them all. All right. What in the world, dude? Oh my gosh. If I got a letter requesting me to clear someone's house of moths, I would, I would just question everything. I'd be like, okay, first of all, why do you have all these moths? Second of all, why the heck does it matter where they go? They seem pretty happy in here. And third of all, I'm not doing that. Mason Hart, the famous moth collector. Dude, I really should have just read this before I went on that little rant. Has won the Nobel Prize in biology for his discovery of the lingua moth, a new species of moth that can speak human language. The lingua moth's ability to communicate in English has revolutionized the field of biology and opened up new possibilities for communication with other species. Mr. Hart's dedication and passion for moth collecting and research have resulted in this groundbreaking discovery and his work has been recognized as one of the most significant contributions to biology in recent history. It's a good looking fella, Mason Hart. Dad, if you were a moth collector and you stumbled upon a moth that could speak English, <laughs> which is a crazy concept just by itself. So you're telling me like you caught one and you said, ooh, let me look at it. And you're just looking at all these moths in the freaking, uh, I'm missing one moth. Looking at all these moths in the backpack and one just says, dude, let us out. And you're just like, what? But it wouldn't talk like that. I'd probably be like, dude let us out it had like the cringiest voice in the world and you would just like be like what what are you saying why do you sound like that and then he would get kind of offended that you're making fun of his voice but at the same time 
why does he sound like that and he's a talking moth honestly i you know how i said i have a song stuck in my head earlier um yeah i didn't want to say what song it was but it's a taylor swift song sorry i don't even listen to taylor swift but you know whatever Got francis me. get me i don't care i knew you were gonna be there i need to find the locked door Jacob Boy 69 and the Moth Madness episode. That's what this is. Yeah, yeah. How many times before Francis just gets sick of wrapping me up? Is he just going to eat me or something? I think it was this way, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, down this super long hallway. Guys, did we do it? I think we did it. I know our father, the moth collecting expert, said he would like every single moth in existence to be pulled out of his house. Sorry, father, for I have sinned. I'm not doing it. There's too many moths, and there's a big chunky fella named Francis that really... He's obsessed with me at this point, honestly. He loves just wrapping me up. So, we're out of here. Um... Ooh, there's a hand. There we go. There we go, moths. Be free. See ya. I had way more moths than that. Way more moths than that. Wow. Moth House. A game by Ken Forrest. Pretty good game. All right, guys, we did it. We are now moth collecting professionals. If you're also a moth collecting professional or you just like the video, please hit the subscribe button and like the video. It would mean the world to me. I hope to see you on the next one. Have a wonderful time, wonderful night, and tell your mother I said hello. All right, bye, guys. See ya.